sí, así. Pero un día, sí. We can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay, finally. Thank God. I don't know what's wrong with this computer. It's, it's, it's my work computer. It's not my personal computer because my personal computer broke down. So uh, this, is kind of, this is kind of slow. Hello, yeah. good evening. Good evening. I have to survive. Hi, teacher. So, hi, how are you guys? Are you hi, feeling? teacher. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Uh, excited I because... I want to listen to your conversations today. Um, and in a moment, also, we are going to start practicing a little exercise related to a topic that um, that you mentioned. You mentioned that in the in the WhatsApp group, right? That is a little complicated for you, and that you want to practice more. So we're going to focus on that topic too. Okay, expressing when we. Um, for example, think the same or uh, or feel the same as somebody else, or when we have an opposite opinion, right? Uh, that is the when we use uh, the the so or neither, either. Okay. I brought you this. It's it's actually it's actually just like a little puzzle. If you get it, you know how to do it. Like the the Rubik cube, you know. Uh, that you have to just solve it. So it's something like that, in my opinion. So um, now, can you recognize if one of your, uh, well, if your partner for the conversation is present right now, is connected right now? Yeah, she's yes. connected. Randy, who is your partner? Edma, I think. Edma, yes. okay, perfect. So one of you is the, the, the pharmacist, right? And the other one is uh, the mm -hmm. customer, let's say. Yeah. So, uh, do you need me to show you the conversation on the screen or you have it right there? No, please. Share. I can show it. I can yeah. share it. Okay, wait a second. I will share it. And. Okay, here it is. Okay, I'm going to share with you. So um, is it, what about the weather? Is it raining? Is it hot? Is it cold where you live right now? What's the weather like in your in your hometown, in the city where you live? Well, in San Miguel? Yes, what <laughs> is hot? It's always <laughs> is hot. All right, we don't it's have a surprise. to ask you. <laughs> Oh, it's hot today. Like yesterday? <laughs> like any other day, yeah. Just a normal day. Okay. Well, here is hot. That's the reason that I'm using my fan. Because if I turn it on, it's going to interrupt my, my or interfere with my voice. So I cannot do it. I'd rather just wait. This but is I'm my fan. Later. Can you see this okay, can you on my neck? This is my fan. Really? Yeah. I thought I, I thought those, those were headphones. <laughs> no, everybody think the same. Uh-huh. But it's not it's a fan. Oh, interesting. I don't know. You can they see look really cool. Nice. Yeah, it is so useful. Well, okay, yeah, technology, <laughs> right? Yeah. What do you suggest? What do you suggest? Uh, Brandy and Edma, ready, set, okay. and go. Hi, Edma. May I help you? Yes. Please call. I have some something for a call. I think I am getting a call. Oh, well, um, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Um, wait, uh, try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing, my husband has a no energy this day. 
Can you suggest anything? Suggest anything. Oh, <laughs> she should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Or you can try the other pills that don't, I say. Don't, don't say the don't say the other one. Don't say the other one, Randy. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, thanks so much. Oh, great, Jamie. A great, I can avail them. May I have okay? May I great, have may I large... have three large bird, please? Bottle, bottle, please. Teacher, how okay, do you say excellent. so? Is the palabra to sugerir? Suggest. 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 Okay. suggest. Es que yo dije, can you suggest anything? Yeah, I told uh -huh. you suggest. I've sold it. Okay, perdón, sorry. Thank you, teacher. All right, so uh, that will be the conversation class for the two ladies, please. The first two volunteers, excellent. Thank you so much, uh, Brandy and Edma. Um, well, um uh, I'm just checking if in American English is possible to say multivitamin. Uh because vitamin is the it's British and vitamin is American English. But I normally think it's when multivitamins. We, uh, actually both. Both both are possible. Uh I, I was just checking if, if if in <laughs> in American English they also say multi because I normally say multi. Um, but yeah, multi multivitamin uh, would be the most common one. And then um, that would be all, right? We continue with the next two volunteers. Okay, um, anybody else who has the partner connected right now in the call? Melvin, who is your partner? I think it's Jenny. Jenny, is that true? Jenny? I'm here. Okay, so Melvin, I think you are the pharmacist, right? Yes, yes I am. Oh, look at Melvin's dog. She's so <laughs> well behaved. I was quiet, but the class is just for one, Melvin, I tell you. But, <laughs> but look, she's really paying attention. I like that. Okay, yes. <laughs> so let's, let's yes, continue. Uh, Melvin and Jenny, ready, set, go. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please call. I have something for a call. Uh, I think I'm getting a call. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's a very good. Okay, and one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these malady vitamins. They are excellent. Great, may I have three large bottles, please? That's a lot of vitamins. Okay, excellent. Class for them, please. Good. Uh, Jenny and Melvin, just the pronunciation, remember that is suggest, okay, suggest. So uh, in English, in English, we have stress in the, in, in, in the language. I mean, we have stress, uh, for example, when you have the word, uh, normally, normally the verbs have the stress on the second syllable. I'm going to write some examples and you tell me the, the pronunciation, okay? So, for example, we have the following verb. How do you pronounce that one? Visit. Visit or visit? Visit. 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 So, the stress is in the first syllable, right? First visit. Syllable. visit. It. Hey, Beats what about it. this one? Prepare. 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 
So the stress is in the second syllable. Pre is the syllable number one. Pair is the syllable number two. We pay attention to the sound, not to the letters, right? It's different than Spanish, okay? In English, we pay attention to the sound. So this word has two syllables, pre, pair. But the stress is not in at the beginning, it's at the end. So we say prepare. Now, let's go to the next one. How do you pronounce this one? Understand. 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 How many syllables do you do you see in or do you um, count in that word? Understand. Three syllables. Three syllables. Three, Three, Three syllables. syllables. Correct. Understand. Understand. Right. Understand. So the stress, the stress is in on, in um, there or stand. In the end. Um, at the end. At the end, on the syllable number three, understand. So as you can see, oh, that is the stress. The okay. stress is where you put more emphasis in the in the in the word. Okay, <laughs> donde va la mayor fuerza de voz, como decimos en español, right? So understand, right? It's not understand or on un, understand is understand. Now uh, let's go with the next one. Do you pronounce that one? Invent. 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 Okay, invent. invent. So the stress is in the second <laughs> syllable. Normally, normally the verbs that have two syllables have the stress in the second syllable. Normally, the verbs have the stress on the second syllable. Um, so that's just a little parenthesis, right? And then we have the example here with the verb suggest right suggest. Suggest. suggest suggest we have another example this one advice advice advice, advice. 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 another advice. synonym suggest recommend. Recommend. recommend recommend what do you recommend what do you recommend, recommend. right so recommend. it's at the end right uh recommendation right so uh so suggest, advise, recommend. Those are synonyms. Now, um, moving on, moving on. Okay, that's just for you to pay attention to the stress of the words. Uh, we have the next two volunteers. Who are the next two volunteers? Okay, Norma, who is your partner? Isaura. Hi. Isaura, hello. Hi. The lady with the red hair. My. Yes, I like okay, mermaid. like the little mermaid, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Me, a star. So, Hi. yes, yes, okay. Yes. Action. Hi. Hi. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Call and hope something for a call. I think I'm bearing a call for a call. Well, I suggest a boss of these cold drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for to drink? For dry skin. Dry skin, yes. Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and one more time. My husband has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? He shall try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I help to relax the bottle, please? All right. May I have three large bottles, please? Excellent. Class for them, please. We continue with the next two volunteers. Okay. Don't forget to use the reactions. We have a lot of emojis. Now, let's move on with Evelyn. Who is your partner, Evelyn? Uh, good evening. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember, but uh -huh. maybe your partner remembers. Who is Evelyn's partner? I remember that I'm going to practice with Leslie, right? Mm -hmm. um, but Leslie's not here, so that's a problem. <laughs> okay, so uh, nobody remembers if if. You are going to practice with Evelyn? Okay, if nobody, 
maybe maybe your partner is not connected right now. So we're going to do the plan B, right? We're teacher. going to go with the plan B. Sorry, teacher. Hello? Okay. Jorge? Yeah. Uh, uh, can I can I practice with, with her? Okay. Uh, your partner is not here. I don't remember. So, <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think that you are the perfect combination right now. What do Evelyn yeah. and Jorge, because you don't remember your partner. Yes. Mm. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay. Me uh, start? Mm. Sí. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Call, I have something for call. I think. Uh, I am getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cold drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for drink skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And, and one more time, one more thing, one more thing. my yeah. husband, has has I, has no energy has no energy this day can you suggest anything he should try some of these multivitamins they're excellent great may i have their large bora please Medicine. okay that's that's all mm -hmm. Teacher, we finish. Claps. Finish. <laughs> you want to repeat the conversation? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Excellent. So I have a question. The next. What is the question, Brandy? I hear that everybody say, "Me star." What is the correct word for say? Can I start or something like that? Yeah. Me star. Uh, if it is a question, you say, may I start or can I start or could I start? Okay. Um, so you say uh, like that, if it is a question, right? But if you just say like uh, confirmation, like voy a empezar yo, you say, I will start. Okay. I will start. Or the contraction, I'll, I'll start. Thank you. Okay. Good question. Next one. Next two, please. Uh, Jancy, I don't know if if your partner is here. No, remember. You don't remember. Okay. Uh, who is Jancy's partner? Is it Sylvia? Is it Jesus? Is it Edwin? Is it Oscar or Nelson? If somebody don't have partner, I can help. Okay, uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, so, Jancy, you are the pharmacist or the or Mrs. Webb? It doesn't matter. Okay, so in the first conversation, uh, Brandy, you were the pharmacist or Mrs. Webb? I uh, was well, the first one, the pharmacist. The pharmacist, so in this case, you will switch. So, Jancy, you are the pharmacist and Brandy will be Mrs. Webb. Ready, okay, set. Okay. Go. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Uh, well, I have something for cough and I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cow drops. Thank you. And um, what do you suggest for a drink skin? Dry, dry skin. Dry, dry skin, yes. Dry skin. Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and uh, and uh, one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything, please? He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Great, great. May I have three uh, large bottles, please? There you go. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. I I, yeah. Is, I try. I was trying to click on reactions and I stopped recording. Okay. Don't play. Let's go on. <laughs> Shame on me. Now let's continue. <laughs> I will. The problem is for me because I have to upload two videos now. <laughs> okay, but that's okay. Don't worry. Um, I guess it the other the other is going to record. I hope so. Uh, let's see. We're going to uh, move on with the next the next two volunteers. Who volunteers? Who next? Who's next? Melvin, Sylvia, Jesus, Edwin, Jesus. Okay, excellent. Jesus, who is your partner? Is Sylvia. 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 Are you yes, ready? Teacher. Okay, yes. excellent. So let's go. Uh, Jesus, I suppose that you are the pharmacist, right? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, go. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a call? I think I'm getting a call. Well, I suggest a box of these cow drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of these new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and one more thing. My husband has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Great. May I have three layers bottles, please? May I have three large bottles, please? Okay, reaction, no more stop. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then we have the last volunteers. Who wants to go next? We have Nelson, Edwin, Oscar, um, who else, who else? I think just them. So who, who wants to practice? Oscar, excellent. Mr. Santana. Here, teacher. All right. Who is your partner, Oscar? Uh, sorry, I don't remember. I think that you is Edwin. Edwin, okay. Edwin is here. Okay. Yes. All right, so ready? Um, can I start or, I am, uh, or you? Uh, a pharmacist. Okay, Oscar will be a pharmacist. So okay. Edwin, you are the, the, the customer, the patient, let's say. Ready, set, go. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Cool, I have something for a Coke. I think I am getting a cold. Well, I should get a bottle of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They are, they are excellent. Great. May I have their large bottles, please? There you go. You All right, so. <laughs> please okay. come back again. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget the pronunciation is suggest. Okay, suggest, suggest. Now we're going to move on and uh, I don't know if there's someone that is missing. Just let me know, please, if someone's missing. If not, we move. We just check the assignment uh, for vocabulary that you had, and that was about the the containers, right? So, toothpaste we mentioned yesterday that is a tube of toothpaste, right? Uh, the other end we mentioned that it was a stick of the other end. 
bandages. We mentioned that it was a box of bandages. Uh, what about aspirin? Bottle. Box. A I box of aspirin? I think it's a bottle. A bottle. A bottle of aspirins. Okay, it's probably mm -hmm. a bottle of aspirins. Uh, what about shaving cream? It oh. has to be a bottle too. Stick. No, stick. No, no, no. Stick. stick is for the um, the other end. The other end. The other end. Okay. So if you look at the In picture, two. I it can it's a tube. It's a it's tube, tube of uh, shaving cream. Correct. What about uh, tissues? Tissues. A bag. Bag. Sometimes it's a box, but it can also be a bag, right? A bag of a tissues. Bag. In the picture, I think it's a bag of tissues. Uh, what about face cream? Face, face cream. cream. Bar. A bottle. Bar. A bottle could be, or a jar, right? A, a jar, jar of I face think. cream. A jar. Yeah, a jar is more common. And cough drops? A cough what? Drops, cough drops. What does it's a bottle. Bottle. It's a bottle. It's a bottle? Bar. Bar. Okay, it's a bottle. Um, well, it depends. The presentations can be different, right? The containers can be different. Mm -hmm. um, how, how you call the other is like a... Um, what? Cuando se compra así en... Como a blister. A blister, a blister. Uh -huh, blister. blister is an English Gretchen. word. Ah, really? Blister is an English word. Ah, yeah, blister okay. is an English word. Okay. Blister is ampolleta. It's a blister. Yeah. Now uh, we're going to move on and uh, just to uh, go straight to the point. We have the. I don't know if you have questions about uh, the lesson, the section two about symptoms and some medicine. Questions? No. Nope. No. Okay, so it's time to talk about food. And right now we have a vocabulary competition. So in your notebook, in your notebook, you are going to write down, write down all the vocabulary, all the vocabulary that you remember about food. For example, spaghetti, hamburgers. If you want to mention fruit and vegetables, that's okay. You can also mention fruit and vegetable because it's food, right? So everything that you, that you know in English, all the vocabulary that you know in English about food, okay? Lasagna, okay? Uh, tacos, uh, tomato, avocado, etc. Writing, okay? So this is just to check the vocabulary you remember in English. For this, you have maximum three minutes, okay? Maximum three minutes. But let's see in two minutes how many words you can write, okay? Two minutes and a half, maximum three. Ready, set, and go. No dictionary, please. Only the vocabulary that you remember. Food in general. It can be fruit, vegetables, and... Uh, Spices, right? Like spices, if you want to mention garlic or cinnamon, vanilla, okay? No problem. It's food. It's a compliment. Sushi is sushi, like the picture. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can include the vocabulary in the picture, yes. Uh, drinks? No, no drinks. Okay, no drinks. No Coca Cola? What? No Coca Cola, no Pepsi, no Seven Up, no. Well, I'm going to put the smoothie. 
No, no drinks. <laughs> <laughs> only food, only food. Only food. Yes. Oh, I forgot how to write biscuit. Oh. This. Ah, uh, then I forgot biscuit. <laughs> you have a problem, Houston. How many minutes do we have? I can't hear you. You have one more minute. We finish at 8.35. The time is over at 8.35. Okay, we finish in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. All right, so no more writing. You have to show your hands, right? Put your hands up, you. like the police officer say. And then you I start dancing. <laughs> okay. Ah. Um, <laughs> so please count how many words you have. Count how many words you have. Do you have I five or ten here words? Twenty mm -hmm. words. Six, seven. Okay. Cuenten. ¿Cuántas palabras tienen? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Nice. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one, excellent. Whatever, twenty-one. 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 Oh, that's a coincidence. Thirty. Thirty. Okay. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Excellent. I think that thirty-one is the winner. So, uh, can you please read your vocabulary? The thirty-one words that you have. S'il vous plaît, mademoiselle. Who said 31? Me, teacher. Hello. Edna, me, teacher. Edma, can you please? Can you hear me? Edma, no? Your French lemon, avocado, avocado, cheese. Avocado, uh huh. Apples, so apple, 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 pizza, hamburger, 
over Turkey, no sé qué es eso. Uh, have the uh, sub um, the tortilla or fish or chicken <laughs> and that's it. Okay. The tortilla okay. help you to, to win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, okay, claps for Edna, please. Excellent. Thank you for sharing your vocabulary. We're going to move on and uh Next, okay, next, we are going to, uh, wait a second. I already sent a little image to the WhatsApp group, okay, with uh, some explanation, okay, some explanation about uh, the use of the topic that we're going to study in a moment, right? So um, let me just check, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go on with this. So as you can see, we have a uh, different kinds of food, okay, from different countries, okay? And uh, obviously El Salvador is a good example of this, right? Because we have a lot of different options. And uh, so the one that we're going to see right now in the exercise one, that is the snapshot, it's a, Noodles, coffee, you can repeat, right? Uh, even if you don't turn on your microphone, it's okay. I'm going to say that on the microphone, but you, you can repeat. Noodles, coffee, noodles, coffee, chocolate. Okay, it's Chocolate. not chocolate. No, it's chocolate. Okay, chocolate. chocolate. Um, then we have French fries. Chocolate. French fries. 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 The sandwich, okay, the sandwich, sandwich. is no sandwich. <laughs> no es con la G, es con la D, okay, sandwich. 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 Uh, sandwich. It's no sandwich or sanguche, no, it's sandwich. sandwich. Uh, then okay. we have uh, pizza, right, pizza, uh, and the hamburger. The hamburger. So, hamburger. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm where these foods were invented. So noodles in China, coffee in the Middle East, chocolate was brought to Spain from Mexico, French fries uh, were made first in Belgium, then sushi is Japan, mm -hmm. as you already know, Japan. the sandwich is from England, uh, <laughs> Uh, it's the last name, right? El apellido, the last name of Errol uh, of Sandwich, the place, right? In in 1760, uh, pizza. pizza. Mm -hmm. The yeah. first pizzeria was in New York, but pizza, you know, is originally from Italy. Italy, Italy. and the hamburger was invented in Connecticut, uh, Connecticut, in the United States. Okay, uh, however, some people say that Hamburg, uh, it's a city in Germany, right? Hamburg, uh, so people say that the name or is originated from their hamburger. Now, um, what are these foods made of? What are the ingredients that we use for noodles, for example? What are noodles made of? Mm. De que están hechos. What are noodles made of? One of those are made with rice. If you're going to change. Rice. Also. With. How do you say harina? How do you say harina? Flour. 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 Uh -huh. How do you say Flour. trigo? Trigo. Yeah, how do you say trigo, teacher? <laughs> no. Uh huh. Try to remember. Actually, oh, I, I just, I just saw your message, uh, in the chat, uh, Brandy. Wheat. Thank you for sharing. Wheat. Wheat. Okay. Wheat. Uh, that would be trigo. Okay. 
So uh, they are made from pasta, right? Also, uh, like we can generalize it from pasta, but in a special way. But yeah, normally we have noodles made of rice. What about coffee? coffee. What's coffee made of? Coffee. The coffee is made with a dry seed. How do you say? Uh, grains. De café? grains. Uh, In English, we say coffee beans. Green. Coffee, coffee beans. beans. Coffee beans. Ah, como frijoles. Uh -huh. Coffee beans. Coffee really? Correct. Yes. Wow, I didn't know. Yeah. I thought it was coffee seed. Beans. Now, seed is what mm. is inside the fruit and vegetables. I mean, uh, mostly fruit, right? Those are the seeds. But oh. the coffee beans, okay. Uh, they call them beans because of the shape, okay, they have. So, okay. uh, what about chocolate? Chocolate. What's chocolate no. made of? Cacao. Um, cacao. How do you say cacao? Cocoa. How do you say cacao? Cocoa. Cocoa. Okay, cocoa. That's correct. Um, French fries. With potatoes. Potatoes. Potato. Potato. Correct. Yes. Now, now that you say potatoes, how do you say? Um, for example, uh, camote. Mm. Camote. <laughs> I don't know any idea. That is sweet potato. Sweet potato. Really? Uh -huh. Sweet yes, potato. Yes, those are sweet potatoes. Potato. Uh -huh. Oh, I know now. Thank you. Now, what are the ingredients to make sushi? Fish. The first one. Fish. Rice. Fish? Rice. Rice. Fish. Rice. 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 Salmon. Rice. 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 Y lleva unas semillitas, eh, ¿cómo se llaman? De, that de is ajonjolí. Ajá, uh -huh. how do you say ajonjolí? Mm. I like Susan those. I like those. Susan, Susan, Susan. No, Susan is sesame. 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 Sesame, sesame. sesame. sesame seeds. Ajá, uh -huh. sesame seeds. Like plaza sesamo, right? Sesame. Mm -hmm. Okay, sesame seeds, yes. And um, well, they they have different ingredients depending on the type of sushi, but the traditional one is the way that you said it, right? Uh, so I'm going to recommend you a dictionary, okay, for you to download or to use uh, on online that is called Word Reference. I will write it in the chat. Word word, uh, I use this dictionary a lot, wordreference.com, wordreference.com. So over there, you can check translation. Um, you can use uh, definitions, uh, synonyms, antonyms, okay, in different languages. So it's a complete dictionary. Um, in this case, uh, let's say I'm going to go with, you can use English to French, to Korean, to any other language. And you have the pronunciation examples, right? Uh, and then you listen to the pronunciation, for example. Wait a second, it's not loading for some reason. Uh, seaweed, as uh, Melvin was saying, is a general word, right? It's a general definition for that. But uh, normally in the, the specific, right? The one that they use for, for cooking is uh, algae, like G, like algae. You write it algae, right? But you pronounce it algae. So algae, that's the one that they use for making sushi. Now, what about the sandwich? What ingredients? Two slices of bread, 
You can use Samayas. Some vegetables. Chicken, normally, or can be ham. Is the most common. Cheese. Ham is the most common, right? Mm -hmm. Cheese. Cheese. Tomatoes, tomato. Lettuce, tomato. Bread. Okay, how do you say mayonnaise? Huh? Mayonnaise. 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 Mayo. Or you can say mayonnaise. mayo. Mayo. Uh -huh. Mayonnaise. Yeah. Mayonnaise. Okay. And for pizza? Ketchup. Mm. Yeah, we need we use ketchup for the for the sandwich. Uh-huh. Yeah. For pizza, what are the ingredients? Tomato. Um, and cheese. Flour. Flour. Cheese, flour. Pineapple. <laughs> the Hawaiian pizza has pineapple. That's correct. <laughs> Some people don't like they it. Like it. Um, okay. So we. How do you say uh, jamon? Jam. Jam. Ham. 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 Yeah. Jam is halea. So ham. Ham. Uh, ham. We use pepperoni, right? Pepperoni. Ham. How do you say carne de res? Uh, beef. 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 Okay, beef is carne de res. How do you say carne de cerdo? Pork. Meat. Pork. Pork. Okay, beef. Beef. Pork. Beef. And then pork. chicken, right? Chicken. That's the other one. Uh -huh, chicken. Um, and for the hamburger, what do we need? How? Beef. What ingredients? Beef. 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 Well, cheese. actually, actually, they call hamburger. They call hamburger the, the, call hamburger the, the oh, beef. Yeah. Yes. A, la, a la carne le llaman hamburguesa. Eh? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The 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 burger. Uh, no, so we meat. need lettuce. Lettuce. What kind of cheese? Bread. What kind of uh, cheese do they American normally cheese? use? American uh, cheese. American cheese. It's Parmesan. American cheese. Oh. It's parmesan. Uh -huh. It can be craft, right? Uh, craft. And then uh, mozzarella sometimes. Mozzarella. Yeah. Okay. So um, and I'm hungry. <laughs> pickles. That's you know, pepinillos, you like, right? Yes, you like pickles. The pickles. Pickles. Mm -hmm. Pickles. Okay. Excellent. Now, if you had to select your number one. The most the, the the one that you prefer the most from the from the mm -hmm. menu here, and the one that you like the least, which one would it be? The one Pickles. that you like the most and the one that you like the least. Your top and your bottom, right? Top and bottom. Your number one and your number ten. <laughs> okay, <laughs> number one and number eight. For example, for me, for me, the number one in this list is coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and the number and the number eight, the number eight that is the last, the last one for me, I will say sushi. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm not that. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of sushi. So I would say it, sushi is the last one. I or French you, fries. I don't know. It's difficult. French fries and sushi. I think that that is a. They go to penalties over there. Uh, I agree with you. Um, okay. So that's my. Number one and my number eight. Which is your number one, Brandy? For me, chocolate oil was because I don't addict to chocolate. the coffee. I don't like coffee. Okay, I... okay, okay, got it. And uh, I your love number it. one. Your number I one, Evelyn. Um, first one is pizza. Pizza. Uh, okay. I I don't like. I don't like sushi, so. Sushi, too. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, you want to say, tampoco me gusta el sushi. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So the negative, in this case, I don't like sushi either. 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 I will write it in the chat. I will... problem. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're not... going to get to that. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't like sushi either. Okay, next. Uh, I don't sushi either. Um, the first is chocolate, 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 um, and um, and the last one, the last one, last French fries, French, French fries, French fries, French fries, French, French fries. fries. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can also only say fries. I don't like fries. Fresh. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't fries. Like fries. Uh, does it? Uh, 
Hello, hello. Uh -huh. And my favorite is food, coffee, and pizza. Is the last. La última, la que, sí, la que menos. La última opción. Pizza. La que menos. Uh -huh. eh, sushi. That is your list, your list favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can say my favorite and the list favorite, right? La menos favorita, the list favorite. Yes. Okay, yes. Jenny. Uh, my first one is chocolate. And my last, and my last one is rice. Okay, French, uh, fries. French fries. Okay, then continue with uh, Melvin. My first one is coffee, and the last side between noodles and sushi. I think they both. Okay. Okay. And so I wrote the example in the chat, the, the structure that you can use, right? My favorite one is this, and my least favorite is this. Okay, next one. Uh, Norma? My favorite one is coffee, and my least favorite least. is sushi. Sushi, okay. So I think that we have a similar opinion, right? The least favorite uh -huh. is sushi. So let's just go with number one. What is your favorite food? Uh, Sylvia, your favorite, your number one in the list. Um, my favorite hey. one is pizza and hamburger. And my least favorite. My least favorite is sushi and noodles. Sushi, okay. Excellent. Is Aura? Nice. I don't need any of that, teacher. I'm sorry. You don't like <laughs> any of those. Okay. You don't like yes. any of those. Okay. Yes. So, what is your favorite food in general? Okay. For me, my favorite, I, my I number don't... one is chicken soup. <laughs> yes, me too. I, me too. I prefer cook in but my you... house. But when I say chicken soup, it I'm don't refer to pollo. I'm talking about gallina, right? I like the gallina. hen soup. Let's say hen soup, right? <laughs> soup gallina. Yeah, that's the one that I like the most. Okay. Now gallina India. Now let's continue with. But I cannot say Indian chicken, right? <laughs> so I so you translate uh, chipilin? No, it's not possible to translate chipilin. <laughs> okay, uh, Jesus. <laughs> My favorite one is chocolate, and my last favorite is fries. Is yes. fries. Okay. Jorge? Okay, my favorite one is hamburger, and the least favorite is Please. maybe Please. fresh. French mm -hmm. fries. Fries. Fresh okay. Fries. French, French fries, fries. French yeah. fries. Yes. Uh, then we continue with Nelson. Nelson or Oscar. What is your favorite and your least favorite? Hello, hello. We lost connection with them. So who is missing? Who is missing? I think almost everybody participated. Oh, Nelson says that he's working, so he cannot answer. But you can write your answers in the chat, okay? No problem. If you if you cannot use a microphone, don't worry. Be happy. Now let's continue. Um so um in this case, okay, uh, we can continue talking about food, right? But obviously it's uh something that we can do any other day. Now, we're just going to uh, wrap this up over here with the conversation. So we have going out for dinner. Listen and repeat after me. Say, would you like to go, go out for, to dinner tonight? Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Say, 
Sure. Where do you want to go? Sure. Where do you want to go? Okay. When you're speaking, you can say, Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Right? It's more natural. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Okay. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? Well, well, what do you think of Indian, Indian food? Indian food. Indian food. Okay, mm -hmm. that is the way that you read it. But more natural, you can say, what do, what do you think? What do you think of Indian food? What do, what do you what think do of Indian you, food? What do you think of Indian food? What do you think of Indian food? Chicken. Excellent. Oh, what do you think of Indian food? I love it. Indian food. I love it. I love it. I love it. But, I'm not, I love it. but I'm not really in the mood for it today. But I love I'm it, but really I'm not in really the in the mood, mood for it today. I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm um, not either. I guess. I guess. I guess. It's a bit spicy. It's a bit spicy. It's, it's a, a bit spicy. spicy. A, bit, a bit spicy. Bit. Mm, a bit. Um, how do you like Japanese food? 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 Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, I like it a lot. 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 Like it a lot. Okay, I like it a lot. Like it a lot. Like it a lot. Like it a lot. Excellent. I do too. I I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. Near here. It's it's called Iroha. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Oh, always wanted to go there. Wanted to, in this case, when you're speaking more naturally, wanted to go. Wanted wanted to go there. I've always wanted to go there. Wanted to go there. go there. go there. Wanted to 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 go there. Wanted Gringa, ¿verdad? Es de repetirlos, de poner atención y tratar de imitarlo. Wanted to go there. Wanted to go there. Wanted to go there. I always wanted to go there. What do I always want to go there? Terrific. Let's go. Terrific. Terrific. Let's go. Terrific. Okay. Terrific is very good. Okay. Terrific is good. It's great. Terrific. Don't confuse terrific and terrible. That's terrible, different. yeah. Okay, yeah. we have terrific, terrible, terrific. and terrifying. We have three yeah. different words. Tres palabras que se parecen, pero que son distintas. Terrific is genial. Yeah. Terrible, 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 malo, right? Terrible. Terrifying, okay, that terror, terrifying, right? Um, so, three different words. Um, so, good, not good, scary. Right, so three different expressions, um, three different adjectives, right? All right, so uh, this is just a little conversation, but as you can see, when you practice this kind of conversations, you have an idea about how to establish communication with someone, okay? So you say, sure, y en lugar de decir, yes, ya utilizamos, sure, seguro, right? Sure, mm -hmm. it's another way to say yes. Um, sure. Yep. Instead of saying, ah, I like it, you can say, I love it, right? Uh, love it's more money. natural. Instead of saying yes, you can say, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay? Um, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then, um, yes, basically just that, right? Uh, now, we're going to continue, we're going to practice this conversation, okay, in tomorrow's class. Um, today, oh, so please practice this. Tomorrow we're going to see if, it's possible to have the breakout rooms. Para el día de mañana vamos a ver si, si soluciona el problema de los breakout rooms. Para que así puedan ir cada quien a su breakout room y practicar la vez que sea necesario la conversación. Um, and I will need you to study, study this grammar focus. 
So uh, just as, as a heads up, right? As an uh, anticipation, right, to the class. In the chat, I am going to share with you some uh, information about it with some links and a little video. But this is basically when you express agreement or disagreement. So if you say, for example, I love chocolate, and you want to say, yo también amo el chocolate, you say, so do I, or I do too. It's another way to say me too, right? Um, but if it is negative, for example, and I say, I don't like Bad Bunny, and you are like, yo tampoco, neither do I, neither do I, or I don't either. Okay, this is more formal. The informal is me neither, me neither. Me neither is the opposite of me too. Me too is for positive. Me neither is for negative. So for example, let's practice. I like, I love English. And you? So do I. I don't like. You can say so do I, but in this case, let's practice me too and me neither. Okay? I okay. love English. Me I neither. neither. Me too. <laughs> me neither. I love you too. Me too. I okay. Supongamos neither. que a todos I... les gusta el inglés, okay? <laughs> and you say I... me too. Okay. Now, I something neither. something negative. Something negative. I don't like bad bunny. I don't like. No le gusta bad bunny. I don't, I don't like bad bunny. Like... Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Practicamos la forma, la forma básica y común, la más frecuente. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to practice the other forms. But me too is affirmative. Me neither is negative. Okay. So question, Brandy, to finish. Yes, it just I can't connect with part with the other part. How can I say? Neither can I, or when I have to say so, can I? Okay, when? neither is negative. Neither is yeah. negative. And no, so is I... affirmative. Mm -hmm. That's the first dif differentiation that you need to make. Es la primera diferenciación, right? Que tienen que hacer. ¿Cuál es negativa y cuál es positiva? So is affirmative. Neither is negative. Mm -hmm. eh, either. También se utiliza como negative, pero si ustedes ven el ejemplo, va con un auxiliar negativo. ¿Ok? Entonces, si utilizamos el auxiliar, vamos a utilizar el either. Si en negativo, si utilizamos el auxiliar en afirmativo, vamos a utilizar el neither, que es la forma base negativa. So, it's two different forms. But in the end, if you don't want to complicate too much, you say me too for affirmative and me neither for negative. Ok, en una conversación para salvarnos rapidito y decir, yo a mí también y a mí tampoco, solo me too, affirmative, me, me neither, too. negative. Me neither. Ok. Me neither. That is survival English. Ese es inglés para sobrevivir, <laughs> right? Survival English. Yes, <laughs> because I always say me neither. Ajá. Me neither. So it's ok. But it's necessary that we practice other forms. Porque a veces la gente puede utilizar esta forma y si no la sabemos, no vamos a entenderla. Ok. So uh, that's the reason why, that's the reason why. So tomorrow we're going to practice more, but I need you to study, okay? I'm going to send you a, a couple of images, one link to practice and one link for a video. So oh, thank you. you practice, you study, and tomorrow we do the exercises, okay? In the class. So uh, you did a really nice job today, guys. It was nice to see you again. Have an amazing night, a great night, and get enough rest, okay? So that tomorrow you are fresh, like lettuce, okay? So take care of yourself, have Almighty a good teacher. night, you sleep, dream of angels, and see you tomorrow, yes. Good night. Bye. Good night. Au revoir, ciao, arrivederci, so long, aloha. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell. Bye. Yeah, well, good night. Sayonara. How many languages do you know? <laughs> Just three. Salva I mean, Caliche, English, and Spanish, and a little bit of French. <laughs> okay. Uh, sayonara yeah. is Japanese. Sayonara is Japanese, yes. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Take care. Good night. Take a shower. See you.
<laughs> go to the bed. All right. And we're done here. Excellent.